Hi guys, it's Misty here from Bookaholics Book Club and welcome to this week's Mailbox Post Part 1. Uh, this is all the books that I got for Christmas but I got quite a few so I'm having to split the post into two. So tonight I will post half and then tomorrow I will post the other half. So it will be two videos, two posts for this week's Mailbox. Um, tonight I'm showing all the books that I got as gifts. And uh, one review book, so I'll show that one first. For review I got The Iron Knight by Julie Kagwa. Uh, this is an ARC copy that the publishers sent me, uh, the UK publishers. It's the last book in the series, but this one is not is told from Ash's point of view instead of Megan. And I've heard that it's really, really good, so I'm so excited to read this. I have actually, I've already ordered a finished copy as well that hopefully will come next week. So, so that will ma match my collection. But yeah, I'm really excited to read this one. I'll be reading this one in a couple of weeks. So I might read my finished copy that comes first instead. Um, and next are all the books that I got that were Christmas gifts. Um, these first three... These are from Donna at Book Passion for Life, so thank you Donna. She sent me Envy by Greg Olsen. Uh, this is just the creepy cover already is interesting, The Girl in a Bath. It's cool, uh, an empty coffin novel, so it's a series. Um, I've seen this around, it just sounds really good and creepy and just, yeah, something that I would like. So there's that one. And she got me The Candidates by Inara Scott. Uh, this one is set in a school, I can't remember the rest, so ages ago that I read about it. So I can't remember, I think it's magic or something like that. I'm not sure. It's magic or psychic or something, but yeah, it's set in a school, it sounds really good and it has this really cool cover. So I'm definitely excited to read that. And the last one is... Embrace by Jessica Shervington. Uh, this one I haven't heard that much about. It's obviously it's an angel book. I'm pretty sure, yeah, angels will fall. So it's definitely an angel book. And it's got some feathers on it, but uh, I don't really know what it's about. Otherwise, but yeah, <laughs> seems like my kind of thing. So I'm definitely excited to read it. Uh, thank you again to Donna. Uh, the next ones, these are from. Facebook friend Natalie Cleary, she doesn't have a blog for me to link to, but yeah, thank you Natalie anyway. She sent me four books, it's so nice of her. She sent me Half Blood by Jennifer Armentrout. I've been seeing this and her other series everywhere and I've been really wanting to get this one, so I'm excited to read it. See, it's quite long actually. It looks thinner, but it's bigger. So I think it's longer than it looks, but yeah, I've heard really good things, lots of people, and it's um, got all mythology in and I love mythology. So definitely my type of thing. And she also sent me Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendall Blake. I have been dying to get my hands on this. Um, it wasn't available for a while, so I couldn't get it. And then she said that she was going to send it me, I guess they got more stuck in or something so uh, I'm really excited for this one I've heard that it's good so yeah, um, I'm not even sure I think she's a murderer I think it's more in a creepy horror type paranormal thing I don't know it uh, looks good she also sent me <clears throat> Lockdown which is the Escape from Furnace series by Alexandra Gordon Smith this is the first book uh, I'd seen this one around and I wasn't that bothered, but then uh, Rachel from Fiction is always going on about this series. Apparently she really loved the book and she's just read books three and four and she's just got so many good things to say. I put it on my wish list and then Natalie also said she had read it and it was really good and then she said she was decided to send it me for Christmas. So I'm so excited for this one. I think it's... I'm not sure that it's dystopia, but it's definitely something that I've been to look there's a guy in the eye how weird is that and the mask is so creepy I really I can't wait to read this one and the last one is Witch Eyes by Scott Tracy uh, 
I don't know a lot about this one. I know it sounds good. I've heard it's good. I think it's something to do with his eyes. Like he has to wear glasses like all the time or something. I don't... His witch eyes give him an enormous power. Yeah, so he can't take glasses off because his eyes let off magic and do stuff or whatever. I don't know, it sounds good. The cover is creepy. Like the eye with all the lightning and all the electricity. And then there's a creepy house at the bottom. Yeah, so that sounds good. Uh, the next one, these are from Siobhan at Totally Bookalicious. Thank you, Siobhan. Um, this one, Variant by Robinson Wells. Uh, I did get this on audio because I didn't know what she'd sent me and I have I signed up for that Audible so I get a credit a month and I took a chance and got something off my wish list and it turned out that she had sent it to me. So I've had it on audio and listened to it but I did really really like it so I'm glad to have a paper copy because I'd like to read it as well and see how it's different. There was bits I missed when I was listening to it as well. I kept not paying attention but yeah so this is actually I already know this is a really good book and I like the shiny cover so yeah if you like dystopia type things it's really good it's about Benson Fisher goes to get a scholarship to this really good school but then when he gets there it's all weird there's no teachers and you can't get out it's more like a prison and they run the lessons themselves it's really nothing I've seen before but it, and it's really good and she also sent me the Ghoul Next Door by Lizzie ha Lissy Harrison. This is the second in the Monster High series. I bought the first one ages and ages ago. It sounds just really fun and like they're quick reads because they're quite short. And then I got the third one recently. It was random for review, so I didn't. I needed the second one so that I could read the first and the second one. So she said, got me the second one as well. So now I have all three books. So I should probably read them. Uh, the next one, um, Nympha who runs the page with me and she guests a lot on the blog, we decided, we sent each other a book for Christmas but instead of wish lists or anything, we decided we think we know each other enough to pick each other a book, just at random. So I sent her something and she sent me this, this is Cushel's Dart by Jacqueline Carey, this, she said this is one of her all-time favourite reads so obviously she would like to read it. I don't know what it's about. I've heard of it but I've never read what it's about but if she thinks that I like it then I think that I will. Um, I think it's quite old. It's a fantasy book and I read fantasy and paranormal and all that stuff so I am excited to get it. It's quite thick. I'm not sure when I'll read it but I'll definitely trust her judgement and we'll try to read it as soon as I can. Uh, she also sent me this postcard, I don't know how well you can see it. It's a postcard for her debut book that is out in March, I think, and it's signed. Mm. So that was really, really cool as well. That's the cover, but uh, the postcard is quite dark, but it is a really pretty cover. And she sent me some really awesome slippers, but I've left them somewhere, but they are so comfortable. And, and, uh, and ne these next two are from... Alice at Best Books. So a big thank you to Alice. She sent me Goddess Bootcamp by Terrilyn Childs. I read the first one a couple of months ago, oh my gods, and I really liked it. I like her Finn series as well. So she sent me a book too, so I'm definitely looking forward to reading this and seeing what happens next for Phoebe because the first one's so funny. I really like uh, the author's writing, she's so funny. <laughs> And she also sent me, this is volume one of Sweep, which has Book of Shadows, The Coven and Blood Witch by Kate Tiernan. So it's the first three books in the series. So it's a series I've always looked at, but then, in, you know, when you look at something, but then you buy something else and just never ever got round to it. But I've heard that it is a good series. I know lots of people that like it. So now I have the first three books to get me started. So yeah, and I also have the next three books. This is from Jenny, who she is an admin on the page and does reviews on the page, but she has her own blog, uh, Mad Sheep. I'll leave a link to it so you can go and follow her as well. Um, but she sent me 
the second bind up which is Dark Magic, Awakening and Spellbound. So I now have the first six books in this series and I think there's like nine gone. I know there's a lot of them. Oh, 15. There's 15 books in this series. I think I'll start with these six. And if I like them, which I think I will, then I will get the rest. Oh, Jenny also sent me a DVD. So I thought I would show that. She sent me, I knew she was sending Footloose. And then when I opened it, it has Flashdance in it as well, which I've never seen. So I am going to get around to reading that. I already watched Footloose and I really liked that because I wanted to get it after I saw the remake at the cinema. I really, really liked that. So I wanted to get this. And then I bought something else by accident because, you know, when you see something, you get so excited and then you don't realise till later it actually was something else because it was too excited. I bought Fame by accident, which is nothing like Footloose. But, yeah, I was telling her all about it and she said that she would send me Footloose for Christmas. And so, yeah, so now I have that. So I will watch Flashdance soon. Uh, this next one... This is from another Facebook friend, Patricia. This is Lord of the Vampires by Gina Showater. So thank you, Patricia, for sending this to me. Um, I didn't even know, she told me after that she was sending it to me, so I didn't even know it was coming now. I didn't know what she'd sent. So it was a nice surprise. Um, I've only read one other book by Gina Showater. I read uh, Intertwined, which is her YA series, and I really, really liked that. So I'm definitely excited. This is Vampires as well. So I'm definitely excited to get to this one. Uh, I don't know a lot about of what it is. I guess Lord of the Vampires. There's some guy <coughs> called Nikolai who's known as the Dark Stutzer. Yeah, that sounds good. We'll get to that. It's going to take me ages to read all of these. They've all fallen over. Uh, and this last, this one. This is from Anne-Marie at Best Books. Thank you, Anne-Marie. Sent me Shatter Me by... I don't know if it's Terrera or a fancy way of just spelling Tara. Maffy. Yeah. But, well, that's what her name is. But yeah, I've been wanting, wanting this for months and months. And so I'm really excited to get it as this gorgeous cover. And it's all shiny. I've heard that it is so good as well. So I really can't wait to read this. I think it, I didn't know it's a bit dystopia as well. And obviously I love dystopia. So I'm even more excited to want to read it. So I'm hoping I'll get to this really, really soon. Uh, and the last two, oh, they're from my husband. But I told him to get them and then I ordered them. But I'm still saying they're from him. He got me. Take that, take one, and take two. Uh, I was such a huge fan of Take That when I was a teenager. I still like them now, but I'm not the same. But yeah, when I saw these books, I really wanted, I thought they were more like autobiographies, but they're not. They're like photo albums, and they're just full of loads of photos, and then little comments from the band members on the photos and stuff. But I have had a flip through. I haven't read them all the way through, but I've had to look through and they're really cool. Obviously, this one is from when they were together uh, years ago. I can't remember when they split up, like 1990. This one is from then. And then take two is from when they're now. But there's still four of them, so I guess it was made before Robbie came back. So it's got loads of, look, they're just like big photo albums, but they're still really, really cool. So I'm going to have a proper read to those. Yeah, I was in the fan club and I went to see them and everything in London all by myself. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's all the books that I got for Christmas. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you'll come back for part two tomorrow, which is all the books that I bought with my Christmas money. Uh, thank you for visiting. Leave a link to your post and I will come and see what you got as well. Thanks. Bye.